I'm a very big country girl, huge country girl at heart. I'm a country music diehard and country everything. With having my little boy and being on my own, um, I found it a little bit more difficult requesting time off and things like that. So the only way I could do it was I had to become my own boss. I started to think what was I good at. I was good at teaching people how to do hair. And it wasn't just hairdressers. I used to teach my clients, like I'd cut their hair and teach them how to blow wave it, how to style and how to manage their haircut in between their visits to me. So I decided, well, why don't I run workshops? Teach people how to do their hair in workshops so I have something to go to. And then I thought, well, why can't I just teach clients to do their hair colours and things like that and become a bit more of a privatised training school? And then I went, I don't want to be a school, I want to be an academy. Oh my God, I want to start an empire. The challenges facing building of the academy was Number one, getting money. Everyone needs money and I didn't have any. <laughs> um, being on my own sole income, I was working only sort of um, part time. I needed $200,000. Went to the bank. Would you believe within four weeks, they rang me with the approval of $200,000. Bored my eyes out. I had now the money to start my dream. Um, which sometimes I don't know how the hell I got that with $12 in my bank, which they don't even know I had in there. So from my little DVD that I thought this will be fun to teach someone how to do their own hair has just evolved into this enormous building that I'm currently renovating, that I have a simulated salon that has all the features of a real salon, but it's for training. Now that we're all finished, um, I feel an overwhelming excitement and I feel, I, I was driving down here and I went to pull up in my park and there's still painters here. We haven't done half the things but you just gotta be a bit more persistent and go through the motions and just attack what hits you because you finally get there. And I tell you what, the feeling of walking into my work today for the first time outweighs anything from a builder putting a wall in the wrong spot or a powerpoint in the wrong spot because today I get to live my dream. <laughs>